Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to day numero two. Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome, welcome to class. Welcome to class. Si pueden, les voy a pedir que mantengan sus cámaras on. Ah, ¿qué tal el Spanglish? ¿Qué tal el Spanglish? Me lo ha pedido, me, los han, me lo han pedido de la administración, así que usualmente yo sé que tener la cámara y el sonido por veces causa un poco de, de errores. Así es que yo pedía antes que se, mantene, que se mantuviera el audio y solo en caso de necesidad poner el video, pero me han pedido que encendamos las cámaras. Dicen que los quieren ver, quieren saber si son ustedes o no. Más Jorge, Jorge se ve diferente en la foto que en real life. Hey, thank you, teacher. Ok, yo examino. We got it, we got it. Hello, hello, Iris, hello, tell me. Tell me, Beatriz, creo, Bea, ¿verdad? Bea, okay. Hi, teacher, good night. Hello, hello. Josué, hello, hello, Josh. Jorge, hello. Ahí está, José. Joe, Joe Mejia, hello, sir. Hello, hello. Daniela, hello, welcome. Hello, good night. Hello, hello, Dennis. Ahora, acuérdense que we talked about helping you guys out in phrases and words y cualquier cosita que se escuche por ahí, ¿verdad? Cuando usted llega y es de noche, vamos a ocupar good evening. Porque good night se ocupa cuando uno se retira. Ya me voy y es de noche. Ya me voy. Entonces, cuando te estás despidiendo, you say good night. Good evening when you come in. Good night cuando te vas. All right. So, good evening. Ahora, you guys can say good morning. Va, buenos, buenos días. Good afternoon. Si estás en medio del día y no sabes si es mañana, o es tarde, puedes decir good day. Good day, good day, everybody. Right, because you don't know. You don't know what it is. So you could say good day. Vamos a ponerla aquí. Good morning. Good morning, teacher. Teacher. Good morning. Good afternoon. And we can say good day. Good day to you, sir. Oh, good day to you. And then you reply. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for coming in. Welcome to class. Hello, Vanessa. Hello. Hello. No sé si había saludado a Daniela. Daniela, hello. Just, just to be safe. Rafael, hello. Welcome. Bienvenido. Pase adelante. Maricela, bienvenida. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Okay. Let's begin by asking you guys questions. Tan, tan, tan. Las preguntas, ¿verdad? las preguntas. No, these are, these are basic questions. How many of you guys used the website La Plataforma? the platform. How many of you guys went ahead and did you go into the website to visit the platform? Either last night or today during the day? How many of you last guys? Night. Last night? Okay. Yeah. Did you guys manage to see section one? 
were you guys able to look at some of the modules? Yes, all right, I see, I see a couple. Please remember that the platform is, I would say, the most important portion. You guys can come to class every day, and thank you for that, right? But in order for you to get a certification, you guys have to go into the platform and complete each of the sections and the modules. The more sections and modules you complete, the better it will be for you. So if you get way ahead, like Jorge, Jorge 1.9, nice. There we go, right? What we are going to do in class, remember, we're gonna go back to each of these sections and we're gonna touch up on the most important portions. Little bits, we're gonna take little bits of the section, las más importantes, and those are the ones that we're gonna work in class. So it's not gonna feel like we're doing a copy paste. Remember, we are doing a reinforcement we are doing an overview of what we already covered. And if you guys move ahead, we can also cover a little bit about that for future as well. So, so thank you for that. All right, uh, I'm gonna begin by sharing my screen. I am gonna share everything. I have nothing to hide. De repente ahí todas las fotos y los videos. No, 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 no. A ver, permítanme. Vamos a mover aquí. Can you guys see my screen? Yes. Yes, all right, fantastic. Okay, so here we are. Inglés preavanzado, módulo tres. As you guys can see, I actually get it in Spanish. I used to see it in English. I don't know what happened, um, but it's still okay, right? We have section one. It, it's kind of weird. Um, I also wanted to talk to you guys about the dates. The module does not end on the 23rd. It usually ends about 10 days before that. So think about maybe the 13th. And that is for the work that you need to do in the modules, the sections. You guys have until February 13th. I will confirm with you guys on WhatsApp. Hey, ya, ya vieron que me agregué a WhatsApp. Did you guys see me there? Yes, we see you. All right, all right, good, good. Um, remember, talk to us in WhatsApp. That, that's what it's for. Um, you guys can share information. You guys can ask questions. Eh, yo sé que varios de nosotros tal vez estamos en el trabajo y no podemos contestar, which is totally okay, right? Pero también por veces en lunch salís y te andas ahí vos solito, no tenés nadie con quien comer. Hey, guess what? The class WhatsApp is there. And I'm pretty sure that there's somebody just waiting there and looking at it and waiting to chat. Y ese no soy yo. No soy yo. Todo el día esperando ahí hablando con mi clase. Y mi clase nada que me habla. All right. Okay. I see how it is. So keep that in mind. We have the WhatsApp. And we have our website. We are actually, I came all the way up to. 1.3, but we're going to start off at the very beginning. So I'm going to save you guys a little bit of trouble here. We're going to make some trouble. Okay. This is the video that plays when you guys go into section 1.1. And it starts off with, I was really immature. Okay, and this is what we're going to work on today, because what we're doing is we are going to practice. I want you guys to practice. I want to talk to you. I want to have a conversation. Imagine that your teacher shows up at your house or at your work. Va de repente. ¿Y usted quién es? Soy su teacher de inglés. Hola, ¿qué tal? Voy a comer con usted el día de hoy. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. And then so now we have an issue, right? What are we going to talk about? What are we going to discuss? Well, let me tell you that I have a lot of questions for you. And I am very, very talkative. So 
we are going to have a conversation. I promise you that. And this is how we're gonna start, okay? This is how we're going to begin. Um, Jarvin, welcome, welcome aboard. Uh, Luis Enrique, welcome. Uh, Fabi, sí, Fabi. Sí, era Fabio, era Fabiola. Welcome aboard. ¿A quién no ha saludado? ¿A quién no le ha dado bienvenida? A, casi a todos, ¿verdad? Sí, a todos. Okay, okay. All right. Okay, so this is this is the video. And for those of you guys who have played the video, um, you I don't think you guys are going to be able to hear it, but it starts off with some basic questions about you and I. Here they are. You guys see? Let me go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. Let's see how I can do this without ruining my browser. Uh, maybe that'll work. Let me see, let me move it around. Now, all of my life I have used computers, but the computers have always had little screens. And so I bought one with a big screen and now I have a problem because the screen is so big, like it's really hard to use. I, I don't know, it's not, it's not that large, but in comparison to everything that I had before, it, it feels a little bit larger. All right, can you guys see my screen and can you guys see the conversation? Yes, yes. Teacher, we see. Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. So as you guys can see, there's a conversation here between Alan and Carol. Now, I am going to be Alan and I need a volunteer to be Carol. And all you have to do is answer. Who would like to volunteer? Volunteer. Me, me, me teacher. teacher. I, I, somebody said me first. Somebody said me. Who said me first? Me teacher. Alguien dijo. Luis Enrique. Luis Enrique. Luis Enrique did beat everybody. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Luis. Thank you, Luis. All right. I am Alan and you are Carol, okay? Okay. okay. That's all right. True. And this is this is going to be Luis. So Luis and I are going to do the role play and then we're gonna switch. And then we're gonna go switching pairs and pairs and pairs because I wanna see you guys interact, okay? Because once we complete this, we are gonna do it without following the reading material. We are going to have to make stuff up to talk about. Oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good, guys. All right, so here we go. Luis, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right, here we go, Luis. So, okay. what were you like when you were younger? When I was a kid, I was kind of irresponsible. You? Really? What made you change? Graduating from high school. What do you mean? Well, until I graduate, I never had any important responsibilities, but then I went off to college. I know what you mean. I was really immature when I was a teenager. So what made you change? I think I became more mature after I got my first job and moved away from home. Once I had a job, I became totally independent. Where do you work? I worked for my dad at the bank. Got it? Okay. Luis, it. all right. Hey, las manitas a Luis, las manitas. Well done, well done. Okay, thank you, well, thank you. Luis, we're gonna switch. Now I okay. am going to be Carol and you are going to be Alan, okay? Okay, here we go. Uh, so what were you like when you were younger? When I was a kid, I was kind of irresponsible. You, really? What made you change? Graduating from high school. What do you mean? Well, until I graduated, I've never had any important responsibilities, but then I went off to college. I know what you mean. I was really immature when I was a teenager. So what made you change? I think I became more mature after I got my first job and moved away from home. Once I had a job, I became totally independent. Where did you work? I worked for my dad at the bank. 
There we go, Luis. Thank you. Okay, so now we're gonna make it a little bit hard, Luis. Acordate, we're making it a little bit hard. Okay. This is this is what we're gonna do. I am going to play the part of Alan, and I am going to ask you these questions, but you are not going to answer as Carol. You are going to answer as Luis. So okay. you're gonna have to think about what I asked you before you answer. Okay. Okay, all right, so you can follow the same pattern right and you can either be responsible or irresponsible and then you know i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna ask questions to kind of follow up all right okay all right you ready Luis? ready 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 excellent so Luis, what were you like when you were younger uh when i was a kid i was a I was kind of uh, a little, a little, uh, how do you say, juguetón? <laughs> you can say you were very, you were playful? Playful. I was a kind of playful. Oh, really? And so are you still playful? No, no. No. Yeah, All right. From, so from, what? From, from now I'm very serious. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So what made you change? Um, I think is is related related for related to from work and relationship that I have before before I I work and then after work uh, after I work in a, in a bank. Um, and other in other enterprise, I change I change my my way of my way towards of uh, made made any stuff about my behavior. Oh, okay. So, how did your work make you change? Like, what do you mean by that? Uh, because uh, because uh, about the uh, work in the bank is 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 a uh, is a it's a very very serious work, yeah, uh, Especially especially in my case, I worked for for a bank uh, about twenty years. Okay. And my 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 function in in, in my my job in that in that bank is is a financial financial analyst. Okay. It's, it's it's a it's a very serious job. It's very, yeah. It's so quiet. It's so quiet. Quant, a quantity and all the time you you are an, an, an analysis analysis of any stuff. Okay. All right. Well, you know, I, I know what you mean. Um, before going into work myself. I was I, I used to play around a lot. I, I used to have a lot of jokes. I was always very uh, with my friends. I always had a lot of jokes and and we always had like um, I want to say that uh, we always had a you know had a tendency to be really playful within you know our group. But once we started to work and then, you know, we, we met uh, human resources and how we can get in trouble for playing around at work, uh, that changed. So uh, uh, I know exactly what you mean, Luis, because, you know, I, I think I was uh, okay. the same. Now, uh, do you still work? Are you still currently working at the bank? Do you still work at the no. bank? No, I actually, uh, I have uh, my, my arm. Um, business nice okay congratulations on that it, i know that it's very difficult and not too many people can pull it off okay all right cool luis there we go okay so why are we doing this who can tell me why we're doing this practice why do you think we're doing it come on come on Come on, what do you think? 
Um, it's it's only for me or any any anybody? A everybody, anybody, anybody can answer. And, okay. What's because the important? If we practice more, we get more. There we go. That, that's it. That's it. So so this is this is the number one issue that we have. Tenemos pena, no da pena. Mi inglés. Yes, you're right. Mi inglés. I think it's, this is one way to improve the learn improve and learn, learn English. Um, it's not necessary follow the rules in this in this example. Right. But you can answer the but you can answer the question in 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 other way uh, about yourself, about your 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 job, about your relationship, about your family, any. That is correct. That is correct. And so what happens is that uh, we don't want to voice it out. We don't want to practice because to a certain point we're like, oh my God, I'm embarrassed. You know, I'm going to sound weird. Uh, my accent might be a little bit heavy. Um, yes. I, I might sound a little bit off, but but that's what it's about. You, you guys have to practice. The more you practice, the more we can fix. If you are saying a word incorrectly, con quien más, tu teacher, con tu teacher es que lo tenés que hacer. Porque si vos te vas a hacerlo somewhere else, you know, some people are really mean. Some people might take a, you know, at you trying to talk English and they, they're going to make fun of you because that's the way they are. They're bullies, right? Aquí no vas a recibir eso. Here is where you get to take the opportunity and nobody will judge you. We are here to help. So I want you guys to feel comfortable with that, right? It's okay if you have an accent. It's okay if you have to think about what you need to say. And it takes practice, right? And so that's what we're here to do. So with that in mind, a ver, ¿quién le gustaría hacer el role play? Necesito dos voluntarios, two volunteers. And I think I had, somebody had volunteered before. ¿Quién había who, who was that? Who's me? Daniela. Daniela? Okay. So we have Daniela, number one, and then we have... ¿Quién más levantó la mano? Yo vi que levantó me. la mano, señorita. Me. Iris. Okay, we can do it like that. So, yeah. Iris and Daniela. Iris, I am going to assign Alan to you, and Daniela, you are going to be Carol. And all you guys have to do is read. Okay. Okay? You guys ready? Three, okay. two, one, go. So what were you like when you were younger? When I was a kid, I was kind of irresponsible. You? Really? What made you change? Graduating from high school. What do you mean? Well, until I graduated, I never had any important responsibilities, but then I went off to college. I know what you mean. I was really immature when I was a teenager. So what made you change? I think I became more mature after I got my first job and moved away from home. Once I have a job, I become to to tally to tally in independent independent. Where did you work? I worked for my dad at the bank. All right. There we go, there we go. Okay, so something that we usually struggle with is the why, right? When we say you, because sometimes we say you. Y acuérdate que you, it, it, it's really pronounced, and it, 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 se, oye, se escucha casi como que si estás diciendo judío en inglés, right? Jew, like a Jewish person, Jewish, Jew. So you have to be careful, and I did not hear that in this conversation. So so well done, you, right? Se tiene que escuchar un you. Uh, you. you were younger, younger, younger. younger. Uh, the word here is irresponsible. 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 Right. And then another word that I heard was independent. Independent. 
There we go. And totally. Oh my God, totally. totally. Yeah, I see. I see. Oh my God, totally. Oh my God. Totally. totally. Okay. We're going to switch it around. Iris, now you're going to be Carol. And Daniela, you're going to be Alan. Are you guys ready? Tres, dos, uno. So, what were you like when you were younger? When I was a, ki a kid, I was kind of responsible. <clears throat> You really? What made you change? Graduating from high school. What do you mean? Well, until I graduate, I never had any important responsibilities. But then I went off to the to college. I know what you mean. I was really immature when I was a teenager. So what made you change? You I change. think I think I became more mature after I got my first job and moved away from home. Once I had a job, I became totally independent. Where did you work? I worked for my dad at the bank. All right, all right. Well done. Um, let's go back here. Let's work on, and this is for everybody, right? Graduating. 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 Gradu Gradu yeah, I know it sounds kind of weird at the very beginning, but it's grad, graduating. 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 And, then, and then we talk about graduated. 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 So we have gradu we have graduating, which is verdad te graduaste, and graduated, which is past tense. Graduate. Me gradué, right? Okay. Graduating and graduated, and then I think I heard maybe mature. 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 Imagínense que están diciendo sure. Como churro, sure. Right, right, sure. So sure. the T, the T, U, <laughs> the T U makes a different sound. So it was, sure. there we go. You got it. Mature. There it is. Mature. Yeah, mature. mature. So mature. I think I became sure. more mature. mature. There you go. Now, sure. hay personas que pronuncian la T, and they say mature, and that's still okay because it's English sure. from England. And so it's okay, ah, if you, okay if you guys hear it that way, it's okay. Now, in American, right, American English, they say mature. But mature. in English, from England, they pronounce it a little bit different and they say mature. Uh, they, mature. They, have, they leave that T sound and it's a lot louder, okay? All right, well done, well done. All right, two more. Who would like to go? A ver, a ver, dijo, tú, a ver, dijeron me here. A ver, fíjate que no, lo que pasa, name, name, say Max. me, Max. Rafael. All right, we got one, Max. We need another one. Rafael. Me, Rafael. Escuché a una señorita, if you want, you can go uh, right after. So, Ra Rafael. Was that Rafael? Rafa, was that you? Yeah. All right, can you see my screen, Raf? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna go, we're gonna go. Max is going to be Alan, and Raphael, you are going to be yes. Carol. Are yes, you ready? Sure. All right, here we go. Three, two. Yes, I can see. One, let's go. So what were you like when you were younger? Okay. Should I repeat? Yeah, repeat it, Max. One more time. Let's go. So what were when I was a kid, I was kind of irresponsible. Hold on, hold on, Rev. Hold on, hold on. All right, wait, wait for Max. Wait for Max. Rev. Was... Perate, perate, perate. All right, go, Max. So what were you like when you were younger? When I was a kid, I was kind of irresponsible. You really? What made you change? Graduating from high school? What do you mean? 
Well, until I graduated, I've never had any important responsibilities, but then I went off to college. I know what you mean. I was really mature when I was a teenager. Oh, so what made you mean? What made you change? Come again. So what made you change? I think I became more mature after I got my first job and I moved away from home. Once I had a job, I became totally independent. Where did you work? I worked for my dad at the bank. Well done, well done. All right, so I one word, I think two words that we can touch up on. The first one is responsibilities. So if you say it really fast, right? Responsibilities. Responsibilities. There we go. Now, if you say it slow, you have to really, you have to really announce all of those, uh, all of those syllables, right? Responsibilities. Responsibilities. And then, so you have to work really wrong word, and you could say it really fast. You could say responsibilities. You can pronounce the T, and it sounds okay. You can pronounce it as a D and you guys will still be okay. Responsibilities. And it would still sound okay. The next one, I believe I heard, let me see. No, actually only responsibilities. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, you, got, you guys know what college, right? College is university in the United States. Oh college they when they say i went to the university they say college right it's a little bit different than us in el salvador but just to give you guys a heads up okay all right so now we're gonna switch it around max max you are going to be carol and raf you are going to be alan so raf you get to start okay So, what were you like when you were younger? When I was a kid, I was kind of irresponsible. You? Really? What made you change? Graduating from high school. What do you mean? Well, until I graduated, I never had any important responsibilities. But then, I went off to college. I know what you mean. I was really immature when I was in a teenager. So what made you change? I think I became more mature after I got my first job and moved away from home. Once I had a job, I became totally independent. Where did you work? I worked for my dad at the bank. Well done, well done. I like how you guys both, both, uh, actually everybody so far, the word job, you guys have done a, a great job with the pronunciation. Even though there's an O, sometimes when you pronounce it, it sounds like there's an A, right? So there's a jab. Some, some people sound like jab. And so you have to be careful not to overdo it because then it sounds a little bit off. So um, I had a job. I have a job. Do you have a job? Yes, I have a job. Okay, what do you do at your job, right? And so uh, very important because we can also easily pronounce it like job, right? I have a job. And then so that one also sounds a little bit off and people will say, oh, what are you saying, right? So, so good going. Well done, everybody. Well done. Okay. Now, I, let's see, who else wants to go? Who else wants to go? Volunteers, I think there was there was a lady, there was a young lady who had volunteered, and I said, you're going next. Vanessa, Vanessa, thank you so much. Delmi, okay, so Vanessa and Delmi, Vanessa and Delmi, if I miss somebody, I'm sorry. Um, the way I have my, my Zoom, I can see some names, but there are names that I cannot see. So, so if I don't call you by name, uh, I want you to know that it's not because I forgot, but because I can't see the name, okay? So uh, we said Delmi and we said Vanessa, ¿verdad? Vanessa, you can have Alan y Bea, you can be Carol. 
Vanessa y Bea, Alan and Carol. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one. So, what were you like when you were younger? When I was a kid, I was kind of irresponsible. You? Really? What made you change? Graduating from high school. Uh, what do you mean? Well, until I graduated, I never had any important responsibilities. But then I went out of college. Oh, I know what you mean. I was really immature when I was a teenager. So what made you change? I think I became more mature after. I got my first job and moved away from home. Once I had a job, I became totally independent. Uh, where did you work? I worked for my dad at the bank. Well done, well done. Now, I know that these conversations, you guys are probably saying, oh my God, like who would have these conversations? And why would you be so tan metido, tan nosy? But, but I want you guys to know that that is completely normal in, in the United States. You meet somebody on the street, at the park, uh, at the supermarket, uh, you know, at a club, and you automatically ask a lot of questions. So where are you from? Where did you grow up? Where did you go to school? Uh, where are your parents? Where do you live? Th those things are completely normal. Aquí en El Salvador, they, they might not be so normal. ¿verdad? Porque automatically when somebody tells you, ¿y a dónde vivís? Right? You start to think, oh my God, este me va a raptar, este me va a seguir, algo quiere, me va, me, algo me va a robar. Right? And then so we think, and I think it has to do with our culture, but what I want you guys to kind of take from this is that this is completely normal. This is a normal conversation between two people y se puede hacer entre very close friends or somebody who's not so close. Now, I want you guys to kind of keep track because, for example, if we were close friends, toda esta información tú ya, lo, ya, ya la tuvieras. You would already know all of this. So this is a conversation between people who might not know themselves too well. And it's okay. As you guys can see, tú estás, you're constantly moving in that conversation and asking questions. Uh, where did you grow up in San Salvador? Oh my goodness, uh, did you, ha, have you lived here all your life? Yes, I lived here all my life. Okay, um, have you had a chance to travel? Uh, you know what? Yes, I did. I, I did. I did get to travel. Where did you go? Todas esas cosas, aunque a nosotros nos parezcan como que, ay, que metido. It is actually part of building that relationship, building that trust, and creating that conversation which, you know, which becomes really fluent uh, as you go and uh, as you ask questions. So, a ver, we're going to switch it around. Bea and Vanessa, Bea? Yes. I believe you're going to get Alan and Vanessa, you're going to get Carol, right? A ver, let's go. Three, two, one. So, what were you like when you were younger? Vanessa. When I was a kid, I was kind of responsible. You? Really? What made you change? Graduating from high school. What do you mean? Well, until I graduate, I have never had any important responsibilities. But then I went off to the college. I know what you mean. I was really immature when I was a teenager. So what made you change? I think I become more mature after I got my first job and move away from home. Once I have a job, I become totally independent. Where did you work? I work for my dad at the bank. There we go. Well done. Well done. Remember, conversations, American English and Americans in general will talk about anything. Now, there's a few things that, that they really don't like to talk about in public. Uh, religion. Uh, sexual orientation, uh, political views, those three items, they probably will not have a really good conversation with you. Pero yo creo que eso es everywhere. Nosotros también, no, nos enojamos, 
¿verdad? Eh, si alguien está votando por alguien que a vos no te gusta, vos también te pones todo a todo loco y, y querés pelear con tu mejor amigo. But, but I think that it, it's part of culture in general. And so those three items in the United States, they don't like to talk about. And it's really hard to get a conversation going because they just refuse to share. But everything else, oh my God, they will talk about the house. They will talk about the cars. They will talk about dogs. They will talk about everything around the neighborhood, and that is okay. And it's okay for you to share. And that's why we're showing you the role plays as is. Now, who would like to go the last last pair, and then we'll switch it over, and we'll do the, you know, uh, kind of, we're going to do the, the actual. Jose, Jose, we got Jose, Jose Mejia, we got one. Who else? Maricela. Maricela, gracias Maricela. Ok, Maricela, Maricela, usted puede ser Carol en, este, en esta vez y vamos a poner a José como Alan. Ok. Alan, are you ready? Maricela, are you ready? Yes. yes. All right. Three, two, one. So, what were you like when you were younger? When I was a kid, I was kind of irresponsible. You? Really? What made you change? Gra graduating for high school. What do you mean? Well, until I, I graduated, I never had any important resp responsibilities, but then I went off to college. I know what you mean. I was really immature when I was a teenager. So what made you change? I think I became more mature after I got my first job. I moved away from home. Once I have a job, I became totally independent. Where did you work? I worked for my dad at the bank. Well done, well done, well done. Vanessa, did you have a question? Oh, quedó la manita arriba. No, no, we're good. Sorry, sorry. No, I no, no. I question. Okay, no, it's okay, it's okay, it's, all right. Okay, well done, well done. Remember, graduated or graduating? Graduated, graduated, graduating, all right? You can try grad, graduated, 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 and then just try to kind of go through it like that. All right, okay, let's switch, let's switch. Are you guys ready for the switch? Okay. Yes. Three, okay. two, one. So, what were you like when you were younger? When I was a kid, I was kind of irresponsible. You? Really? What made you change? Graduating from high school. What do you mean? Well, until I graduated, I never have any important responsibilities, but then I went off to college. I know what you mean. I was really immature when I was a teenager. So what made you change? Mm, I think I became more mature after I got my first job and moved away from home. Once I had a job, I became totally independent. Where did you work? I worked for my dad at the bank. Well done. Well done, well done. Okay. So we're going to raise it up a little bit. Let me tell you how. Let me tell you how we're going to move here. Let me see. Let me go back. And so there's a second version to this. All right. There's like a continuation. You'll see right now. Give me one second. Let me go ahead and get it there. And so the idea behind the conversation is for you to get used to those questions, right? Nothing, nothing is out of bounds. You can ask questions about pretty much anything. How's the weather? How's your house? How's the car? How are the dogs? Uh, you know, the family, uh, you know, how is, how are the flowers? You know, do you like trees? What type of trees? All of that stuff you guys can talk about. Now, this one, this conversation changes a little bit. Let me see. 
Give me one second. It goes crazy. Oh, uh, let me see here. I think it, it asks, you know what? I can't get it together, but is is just mostly about trying to keep track of what's going on and what are the key major changes in this conversation, right? But I think I think we could leave it at that. Let me go back here so you guys, so that that doesn't interrupt. All right, so who would like to practice like Luis and I with not following the, without following this, but answering normally? I ask you the question and then you answer with whatever you have in your mind. Who would like to practice solo, flying solo? A ver, voluntarios. No, todo de una sola vez, Josué, por favor. No, hombre, controlate, Josué. Joshua. There we go, Josh. Let's do it, Josh. Let's do it. Is that Max? Then we can go, we can go after Max. Hold on. Josh, I'm going to ask you a question and you answer as honestly as you can find it in your heart to answer, okay? Are you ready? Are you ready, Josué? Josh. I'm sorry, my internet is a little slowly. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. So I'm gonna ask you a question and then you answer however you want, okay? With whatever comes to yeah. mind. Okay, here we go. You ready? Josue, what were you like when you were younger? When I was a kid, I liked, I liked playing soccer with my friends at the street. Nice, okay. And do you still play soccer in the street with your friends? No anymore because I work. Oh, okay. So, what happened to your friends? Do they still play? No, no, anybody because some some of they abandoned the country and others score and others study at the college. Okay, good. All right, Jose. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, right? Hey. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Josue. Somebody else? Just a couple of questions, promise. Just one, two, maybe three questions at the most. Jorge, te animas? Jorge. Hello, hello. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Max. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Jorge, I apologize. Max, that was you, Max. All right, are you ready, Max? All right, here we go. Max, what were you like when you were younger? Well, I was a hasty little kid. Uh, okay, all right. I was doing what I wanted all the time and trying to get away with it. Okay, and what made you change? Actually, better yet, Max, have you changed a little bit. All right, and what made you change that little bit? My daughter is just like the same, so I have to. All right, ya ves, ya ves, así como dice que Dios, ahí está Diosito, ah, te portaste mal, ahí va, ahí va, ahí va el pedacito. There we go. Your daughter, right? So she's, she's, she was like you when you were younger, when you were a little kid. And so, how do you handle your daughter? Like, what do you do? Well, I try to spend some time with her and I, I try to play, to run, so she can spend a lot of energy by doing that. 
Nice. Okay. And and so now you mentioned that you try to spend time with her. I imagine that whenever you're not spending time with her, you are at work. Where yeah. where do you work, and what do you do? I work at Mexicano City Hall. Oh, okay. And what do you do there? Um, um, uh, like a TI. Okay. Okay. IT, sorry. IT. Okay. Nice. Nice to hear that. All right. Th that's it. Max, thank you. Thank you very much. Well done. Now, remember, se, nosotros sentimos como que, ay, que metido. ¿Y por qué le pregunta eso? But that's because we're not used to that. We're not accustomed to that. We're not, you know, who do you have these conversations with? Porque con mis mejores amigos, uh, they, they, they don't really ask that many inquiring questions, right? They don't, they, no son tan metidos. Uh, it's really hard to find somebody who's as metido as I am, right? I want to know. I want to know if you have dogs. I want to know if you have pets. I want to know, right? And so that's the way that you guys have conversations with an American, or like the American way to have a conversation. Ellos son super metidos, aunque te dicen, ay, no seas tan metido, but no, no, no. They really like that. They, like the conversations usually have that flow, okay? All right, anybody anybody else wants to, wants to try it out? Uh, Jorge, we said Jorge, right? Yes, teacher. All right, Jorge, let, let's go, let's try it out. Let's see, here we go. Jorge, what were you like when you were younger? Uh, when I was a, a, a kid, uh, I I loved when to to visit my father because my father he he lived uh, for away on my house and uh, the especially to to travel it is it, the it's a long time okay it's a very long places entonces then uh, when I travel to the another city. I can see a different uh, topics and different places too. Oh, okay. And did you travel to see your father very often? Uh, I visit. Uh, I I often visit to her to him every two months. Every two two months. Nice. Okay. So so every other month you went to visit. And you said it was your father, correct? Yes. Where do you live and where did your father live? Uh, I live in Ciudad Arce. Okay. He lived in Lobor de Colón. Okay. So that, that, that was kind of difficult, right? I, I think it's a, like there's something in the middle that prevents you from traveling a straight line. Ciudad Arce? Yes. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's a little bit far. Yes. Uh, yeah, because uh, I don't have a car. Okay. I travel to the, uh, the bus collection. Okay. All right. So, yeah, that, that makes it a little bit harder. All right. Well, thank you very much, Jorge. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Well done. All right. couple of questions. Two questions, right? That's what we're doing. Two questions, maybe three. Maybe three. Rafael. Rafael raised his hand. A ver, Raf, yeah. you want to try it out? Yeah. Hi, right. Rafael, what were you like when you were younger? Well, I could say that I was very talkative. I remember that when I was in, in the elementary school, I remember that teacher used to um, tell me, it set me off when I was, tell me off when I was <laughs> talking with my friends. And I remember that I used to play soccer a lot and I really, really liked to play soccer. Okay. And yeah, that would be. That's it. All right. So, did you get in trouble for being talkative? Yes, a lot of times I remember that I used to throw away uh, paper balls to my okay. classmates. So, I used to get in trouble with my, <laughs> with All right. my teacher. Yeah, I can imagine. Now, <laughs> now uh, you said, are you still talkative or have you changed and you have become more quiet? Mm, I think I became I become more quiet okay. because uh, I'm a really talkative person, but but only with my friends when I or in the class when I have to uh, speak, I always try to talk a lot or what I can 
speak because okay. I think that way I can practice my speaking. There we go. All right. And so you have changed and you have become quieter. Why did you change? Um, I think I learned that sometimes uh, when you are working, you have to work hard and there is no time for you to lost. And that's why I consider that you got to try to be quiet when the, the occasion um, needs, needs you to be quiet. All right. All right. Well done, Rav. Well done. All right, everybody. Um, if you haven't practiced, don't worry. Uh, you guys can have a, a, another chance later on. Uh, let me go back here to our platform. And so this particular video is actually not that long. But what happens is that you have to answer some questions in regards to the video, right? Uh, you're going to move around. You're going to come to, uh, I think that there's an error with the video. I'm going to double check with IT to see what's happening because it says time clauses, but then you already see uh, immature. I think that it might be time clauses within the video itself. Uh, that's what that's what I think. So I'm going to double check with IT. And what you do is you just keep going next, and then you're going to come to the knowledge check. You guys see that? And then in the knowledge check, you guys get to answer. And it's only about, uh, let me see, seven, eight questions. If you guys have any questions about the knowledge check, please remember we have the WhatsApp. The idea is for us to start working on the, on the web page, um, la plataforma de trabajo, y comencemos a completar estos, uh, estas secciones. Um, usually day one, day two, and day three focus on section one, and then we start picking up the pace a little bit uh, with section two, three, four, and five, right? And so the idea is to try to finish as fast as possible para que podamos hacer los midterms y el final exam juntos también. So, ojo con eso. A ver, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. I want to give you guys back about two minutes. And that way, you know, you can say, ay, qué chivo, este mi teacher me dio tanto tiempo. ¿verdad? Entonces, ay, qué, 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 qué lindo este teacher me dio dos minutos de regreso. Right, exactly. Soy benevolente. Pues sí, ¿qué se puede decir? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you so much for, uh, for, participa for participating tonight. And I really want to see you guys back tomorrow. Thank you guys. Namaste. Have a wonderful night. Descansing and see you guys tomorrow. You too. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thanks for your teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Bye. Good night, everybody. Good night, guys. <laughs>